Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one and two of Mahotsukai Pretty Care. Yeah, so you know, not only are you getting Pretty Care on Saturdays, you're also getting it on Sundays now, so you get a whole weekend of Pretty Care. Um, so I have not re-watched this series truly, um, since it aired in 2016 so you know go all the way back to jesus christ oh my god um winter and this was the last of course this was yeah this was the last series that i had watched strictly on my own because of course after that was the one that i started doing the reaction series on and i've been doing it ever since and such so you're probably all wondering why am i re-watching just how i did with like um Yes, Pretty Cure 5, um, why am I rewatching this? And then why am I also watching, we can already announce that too, why am I watching Go Go 5? So a couple of days ago, because it's now still the 18th for me, um, but of course by, <laughs> by next week it should be like, what is the date for next week? Oh my God. I, I, so it'll be Sunday, next Sunday. So last week, um, because we are in the 20th? Yes, 20th anniversary for Pretty Cure. A lot of news is coming out. And there was one thing that came out a couple of days ago around Monday, Tuesday, as where um, a logo was leaked. We were all wondering what the heck it was, what it meant and such. And then we started getting stuff out of the woodworks coming out saying that it was going to be focusing on Pretty Cures of the Past with adults, of uh, as them as adults and stuff. And so they're starting it with both yes pretty cure five go go and mahot sky so i was like okay like oh snap but like i mean i freaked out over yes but i really freaked out over mahot sky because i truly enjoy i'm one of those who really enjoyed the heck out of mahot sky because when you look at all of pretty cure i can kind of we can kind of now add all the way up into delicious because like i said we're only seven weeks into hitogato so we can't really say the whole thing about it yet but i would say the ones that are like the underrated ones where people are like we we thought these were going to be good but they're not they weren't the greatest it's this happiness um kira kira and then you can kind of now say delicious party and such um which is very interesting especially because i think if i'm going to do what i think i do we'll talk about that in a second um then I probably will go back and compare it with that. But yeah, like I said, go back to 2016 where um, several seasons later, I came in all the way in little old fall and was just like, okay, I'm going to start watching shows and literally started with freaking Keijo and effing um, <laughs> Magical Girl. Magical Girl Raising Project. So, I mean, once again, it's still weird to see, like, how far I've come. Because, one, I never would have thought that I would have gotten a chance to rewatch this. And especially with Yes 2 and going from the beginning to the end. And, and I think this is going to be good. This is going to be so much fun. So then I'll be able to talk about a whole bunch of things with this. So I'll say one thing. I do not remember majority of everything of this. I do, like, one thing I will say about this series is I remember, the one thing I remember, like, of course, besides enjoying it, was the fact of there were times where I kind of waited a couple episodes and, like, binged them all, like, how some people kind of do with certain shows. Like, I know there were a lot of people who um, essentially did that with Delicious, so, like, the pacing was a little off sometimes. But, I mean, yeah! But it's still, it's also funny that, like, the three that are in this, I literally watched them in, the, in a show together last year, and I was, like, begging to the gods that we could just have something with these three again, because when that show ended, the only thing I had was freaking, um, Isekai Quartet, and Isekai Quartet, we don't even know when the heck that's returning, so it's like, we're never gonna have these three together as these three characters on this same screen again but no we're getting it where were we getting it again we're getting it with this and we're getting it next year so that is all my little two cents and such i just wanted to get that out there but yes i'm really excited to watch this i cannot believe we're doing this again but other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three 
two, one, go. This is so freaking weird. I can't. I guess I'm going out in the middle of the night to go see what that is. <laughs> well, of course, I mean, she's baby. <laughs> Right, I mean... <laughs> Poor Rico, I mean... <laughs> You okay? Now, one thing I will also say. I am hoping that with the 12 episode series, they still use the song, but they kind of remix it a bit. I don't know. I mean, when our, when our final comes in, they kind of remix it, and then... But I'm expecting it to be a little bit better. I, but at the end of the day, it, it's up to them. It's up to Toei what they want to do with it. I mean, that's it. They could remix it. They could have all three of them sing because all three of them sing. I mean, there's so many things that they could do. I'm just so excited to see these girls again. But the fact is that we got to wait a whole year just to see them. That is going to be torturous, but... It'll be worth it. I mean, still, like, yes, I get to see my yes girls first. But, it, it like, see, at the same time, it makes me excited because if this works out, we can go anywhere now. Any of the girls can have adult series. Kidda, kidda. Can have an adult series. I can't. I can I'm going to cry if that happens because it's too much. I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> We are in we're we're in the good timeline. We are in the right timeline. Yes. <laughs> oh, so you're gonna get A's, babe? And you, you go out and you go look for your girlfriend. Go. Oh. Uh, the freaking title. <laughs> It's all 
No. Here. Well, not the cat. Well, babe, she's right behind you. You just don't know. Rico, baby, you fell. <laughs> I mean, right now she's just in her scenery moment and such, but it's so cute. Did you get muffin on though? Like, take me with you. <laughs> Meet me, I just really have time, but. <laughs> my thing is this anyone who like you knows he's out of the ordinary nobody want to say nothing i mean come on now No, no, Mirai, it's okay. You're gonna get one. I mean, you made it speak, but you know, it's talking like a dog now. Right. 
Happy Bear. Muffins and a doll. Hey, you wouldn't have known. Oh, they put the L in here. Oh, that's okay. I'm still calling it Rico. I mean, in a way, we could already found it. <laughs> Me and I? Mm -mm. Bad juju. Bad guy. We don't talk to the bad guy. Yeah, but you try and you gotta get away. I forgot how interesting the monster of the week for this show could be. She doesn't know. Well, babe, you know, your wife, your wife. <laughs>
Oh no, she has everything to do with it. You just you don't know right now. Now, Hilgato, this, hello, this is what I kind of want to see with the two where it's the cutoff on one to the other, back and forth. Yes, here we go. Yes, you can do that. You're only on week seven, but to be well on week eight next week. You have time to improve. That's okay. Somebody that's always like, no, we're going to wait until everybody comes in. I'm okay with that. We can wait, but still, <laughs> even somebody like edited that ish and went on YouTube and uploaded it. So you can do it. Just do it. That's all. That's all. That's all we want. Get ready to hear this a hundred times every single week. <laughs> I forgot. Oh my god, they did use the hands in the booth. <laughs> I think from what I remember, it's only in this episode where they use these the broom into the fight, which was very different at the time. Oh, right. They can't. Okay. Yeah, she can't use hers yet because she doesn't have her wand yet. Okay.
Be like, hey, hey, did you just talk? <laughs> Like, yeah, uh, um, teddy bears do not talk. Just, you know, like a certain dream that, you know, only wishes can, you know, go on. Okay, one thing I will say from what I remembered at <laughs> 20, 2016, Deja was like, because this is mainly because the Go Princess, pretty great knowledge. Okay, so after Go Princess, and it's mainly because of the fact is with the Linkle Stones, what I initially thought going to compare this to Go Princess, because there's several stones, right? And so I remember thinking like, okay, so each girl is going to get a certain amount. There was a set, like the first day when this aired, I literally went back, counted every single one to make it equal. And I, and I think I kept thinking, I was like, okay, so she's going to get this one. She's going to get this one. Da -da 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 -da. But no, that didn't happen in my opinion. Um, because if you look at Go Princess, that's what they did with that. Each girl got like what? four sets of keys and then you had <laughs> the um the the grand one the castle one yeah, that one but that was technically all of theirs but mainly flora was the one no yeah yeah flora and then really more puff and arima they were the ones who kept it the most but yeah but no, that did not happen for this series. So I was thinking, oh, they're going to do like the same thing for, you know, like they did with Go. No. Oh, God. No, no. Oh, oh, it's good. Oh, 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 God. No. <laughs> I told you why I'm laughing. Okay, so number one, it's about to bring back the one other person who had a crush on in the show. So, of course, I remember initially after the first episode, I was like, of course, yes, the, the theme of magicians, I was instantly thinking Harry Potter. A lot of people really went into like, yeah, like we're doing the Harry Potter thing because still at that time, um, Harry Potter was still very very popular i think at the time like <sighs> harry potter was probably over i think or just about to end i don't remember because i have everything i have every freaking dvd of it and stuff and i think well yeah that was i think it just ended and then pottermore was starting up and so that's why like everybody was like oh my god but at the time of course with like leaks and everything we just didn't know what it was going to be about but going back into this episode for the first time as a rewatch like it is a breath of fresh air because seeing like everything after mahot sky onwards and then looking at the past and such like looking at Mirai as a main character and as our front runner for POV like yes yeah, she she is very similar to all the other pink cures but there's always like something different about them sometimes some of them can be very klutzy some of them can be <laughs> overly outgoing Manasu I'm looking at you even though I love you to death um and some of them can be very, very much down to earth and you know, some of them can be like the biggest social butterfly and everything you can always see yourself um, pretty much, like, 
as the main cure, like definitely in every single series. Because what I feel like is um when every single time when like I read a book and they have the main character where it's like you can see yourself as them, it's very like that with this show. It's like, okay, you can relate to, you know, all the girls in this show or in this series, even and I hate to say it with like, okay, Cure Echo, who has the lowest amount of screen time you know god praying that you know in this all-star movie she makes an appearance i'm just saying because like the last time she made an appearance was the all-star movies for this and then that was also that was the last all-star movie they did because after this um when kitty kitty came out that's when they started doing what they're currently doing now where it's like okay let's take the three most interesting groups or currently groups and put them all together in one film and so that's when a lot of people were like i don't like this but i'm okay with it even though i was like no i was like i, I like it with everybody and then when hakuto came out they decided to finally kind of do that but not really because majority of the time everybody was babies. And that was just really only Futariwa and Hagato. And I wanted everybody. But then at the end, we got everybody. But we gotta get everybody, everybody. Yes. I mean, but yeah, continuing on that, like this this was the most like when you're looking at each theme for every season um i think for the longest time when i was watching this like i had always wanted a magician-esque season and so when this finally came up i was so ecstatic i mean because like yes we all know like the the princess theme go princess like that's I, I think for a lot of people that is like their number one and such and then once this was done i think my next thing i was really truly excited for was space and we all know that came and you know after that was mermaids and it's like that but yeah i mean honestly seeing these two again and hearing <laughs> their sayings as these two characters and not you know as wiz from you know kanasuba and amelia from me zero and the last one which of course we can't say until she comes in because she's not really here just yet but just hearing those two together it just the feels it's it's too much like seeing my two babies again i i, I said this with sinroom but i'm gonna say with this because i feel like i say this with like every pretty cure series i feel like i'm at home i feel like i'm, I'm just home again and such because pretty cure is so freaking near and dear to my heart and i love it so much i'm just happy <laughs> so freaking happy but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. Alrighty, episode two and three, two, one, go. It's a snail. Every time I see her, I'm like, <laughs> she's right here, and we can't talk about her yet. Like, oh, that's a big, it's a tease, it, big old tease, big old tease. Like, seriously, she's right there. <laughs> Again, and then just cry because we already know when she comes up I'm probably gonna be crying. Mm -hmm. 
Y'all know it. I know it. You know it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna cry. Because the first time when I saw her, I cried. <laughs> Also, I forgot how addicting that song is. <laughs> What's up, Rico? Well, I mean, it's mainly due to the lingo stones. Also, probably at the end of this episode, we'll we, <laughs> we will definitely talk about all the muffin products that came out with this show. <laughs> And there's different generations and stuff, but I feel like y'all all live in the same, like, kind of as timeline because all of y'all have interacted together before, but y'all don't remember it. Mm hmm Just, yeah. Sure, Rico. Sure. Yeah, because you're going to have to explain it to him. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get one by the end of the episode. Like, you bought a human here? <laughs> well, I, I 
I mean, she has the wrinkles. Oh, and she can turn into a pretty hair. Mm-hmm. Oh, we know, baby. We know. No, I'm gonna go. Not stupid. Now, uh, what if you get lost? God, I fucking hate him. Well, if you think they're a legend, why don't you go out there this time? I mean, he could be anywhere. The baby girl determination. Because, Rico, that is your wife. She loves you. She wants to do everything for you, baby. 
No, she's fine. She's feeling the head master, so it's okay. Oh, well, today's the day. Well, one of you. Sure, baby. <laughs> One hundred percent sure. Come on. It's also funny because like, okay, so during the time when this was also airing, they were selling necklaces of the lingual salts and with pure gold, pure diamond. And I was like, oh my God, this is so pretty. I want this, right? Luckily, somebody is selling it on Mercari, but they want $206. It's not worth it. It ain't as beautiful as it is. Oh my god. I couldn't do it. It's too much money. I mean, I've already... My most expensive thing from Japan? No. It's in there. My, uh, penguin drum. Figure. Princess of the Diamond figure. Yeah, she was like 160. 160, either 130 or 160. 
So she is my most expensive one that I spent, but I got her on a good sale. So A plus plus. But I do kind of still wish that they would make figures of the girls. I mean, it's nice. There, there's more action s figures for them. And those are super expensive. I mean, well, since you already have your stick, we can probably see the freaking angle, so. There you go. Well, baby, technically you did, even though you don't know that's him. That's something else that I also wish they would bring back. The 3D-esque. Mm. I mean, who knows? Well, she got it. Mm-hmm. That, that's the headmaster.
Yeah, you're not expelled. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you're a duo, you're a pair, so. I mean, here, here's my thing. How is she going to be like, okay, you got to go to regular school and the wizard school. They're like, damn. That's double the homework, double the test, double everything. Mm. Couldn't do it, but it will be worth it. Okay, so this episode, <clears throat> just, mm. it, it's like, I like to call it like just the part two of episode one because of the fact is it just continues immediately right where it left off because more of the modern day us pretty curious, so everything after this, um, it's a little different where they sometimes don't really continue on from the previous episode where it's like, okay, this is what happened last week. This is what we're doing this week. Sometimes it's like a different day or a couple of days later and then we're meeting the second cure and such. But yeah, he's so cute. Oh my God. Like, I love how, of course, Mirai freaking out over everything. Adorable baby. Like, just seeing everything and just being able to once again talk to Mufferon and just them having conversations just so fucking cute oh my god and Enrico my my baby <laughs> or like I'm not really the best at magic nah babe nah like oh my god no we thought you were the greatest at everything no it's okay of course she makes mistakes but it's okay well, I think it's time mm -hmm. <gasps> yes! Okay, so one thing I will also say about this. Okay, so first, let's talk about the muffin room situation. When this show was coming out, um, of course, you can see mascots. There's mascots in every freaking season of Pretty Cure. Sometimes it could be a baby and sometimes it could be an animal. Or, you know, with this show, it's a stuffed flesh of a bear. Muffin Room had so much merch. I mean, as this is the re another reason why I think this is why, because... They're getting the, the second season. These characters were very popular. These characters were in like a lot of things during um, essentially the year of 2016. But Muffinoon got so much stuff to the point that Muffinoon got a chair. Actual furniture. Like this cute little chair and such. And that I don't remember how much the chair was. But I was like, I kind of want that. Like I, I was begging like to save that much money and i think it was it had to be a lot it was because i mean it's furniture of course and then also it's pretty cure so a lot imagine if it was like okay if it was saver moon or if it's like um i don't know like whatever you're like no, okay okay i'll do it like this imagine if it was sinfo gear furniture imagine how much that would be a lot of money so, oof, like a lot of freaking money. And only the elite of all the elite would spend all that money on that furniture or that little, that piece of furniture. And people spent money on this because it was so cute. It was different and such. You know how like, okay, for Pokemon they have, um, okay, Snorlax for an example. There is that one like beanbag looking thing of Snorlax where you can actually lay on it and sleep on it. And I want that too. Several things, the life size things, and you're like, oh my god, am I about to pay this much money? But it's in the end, you do. You do because once again, you can say, I'm an adult, I have a job, and I buy with my adult money get things that I wish I had when I was a kid. I mean, because that's just your, 
you're warming like your inner child and I think that's like the most adorable thing ever because I mean I when I when I was getting my money in with YouTube and with the job that I'm working now like yeah that's why I have the four figures I'm looking at right here the penguin drum figure the first figure that I bought was the love live of Nozamine um the plushies you can't even see them because they're they're both well one's right there and the well no freaking Kome Kome is over there and freaking <laughs> good I is over there too but um yeah I mean it's just uh, whenever you see something you just you have to have it and then it's worse when it's like your favorite series and you're like I need that I want that in my house and stuff. So, like, imagine if they sell, like, artwork. And I would like to see them do that for the 20th anniversary. <sighs> I wouldn't be broke if I lived in Japan. And I just saw it. Like, anything pretty here, any, just any anime that I have watched, if I've seen stuff, I buy it. And then I'm like, <laughs> I'm broke again. <laughs> It'd be a bad day. It's like, as I told my mom this, I was like, if we ever go to Japan, just know you lose it. <laughs> just like, don't look for me. If I get lost, it's for a good reason. It's because I got distracted about something. I was like, if we ever go to Akihabara, <laughs> just put, put up, <laughs> do the find my iPhone. That's how you find me. But, I mean, yeah, okay. But seriously, just finally being here in this world, like, it's just, oh, so good. Like, uh, all the all the magical freaking Harry Potter S feels. Like, the, the, I think, you know, it, it also gave me, like, the inner child feel once I got into Harry Potter because I was like, this is what I kind of wish Hogwarts was like when, you know, when you, re before the movies came out and such, that's what I wanted it to look like or something similar to it and such. But, I mean, yeah. Okay, so let's also talk about this. So the biggest thing was, um, of course, with the transformation is adding muffin in it. I thought it was a very interesting thing to do. It is the most different thing to do because then they eventually enhanced it with healing good because technically healing good is also with the animals transformers. Uh, I can't say the word right. Transforming with the magical girl except in the end they become sticks so at that time of 2016 this was the most like very vast different because when you're looking at every single season and the transformation sequence every each season is very unique and individual but adding a bear or adding something to have both of them transform in one sequence together was very different because I remember people thinking, is the bear going to be in every single transform? Like, everything? And the bear is. The bear is in every single thing. So, yeah. The other thing I remember saying or thinking about when I watched this was initially, by the time we got to the end of this episode, going into episode three, was how very quickly they're getting the stones. So, they already have Diamond. They need Ruby. Which is the next one we're getting in episode three. And then after that is Sapphire. And then of course Emerald is the big one that you know Rico is looking for. But of course that one ain't coming yet. Because of course they have to get the initial first three. And then I can't say she she <laughs> will come um, and such. I mean hint hint nudge nudge she's in the opening. Hello. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll say it like this. My my number one. My my fave character. My fave character who I've used as my profile pic numerous of times and such. I think everybody already knows who it is. Duh. And such. It's very obvious. Very freaking obvious of who it is. I'm just gonna say if you need to go look at the say use things. Go look at everything that she's worked in, and then look for 2016. It's in there. And then you'll find who she is. That's all I'll say. Or if you just want to wait, yeah, we have a long, not that, really not that long until we get to episode 21, even though we're only on episode one. I mean, three. I mean, but yeah. <laughs> 
I, I, one thing I, I also will say, and I'm going to kind of compare this to another Magical Girl S series from Italy. Um, AKA Wings Club. Now, when the headmaster came in and such, and he, you know, him and me, me and I were talking, I, I was remembering like the first time when I watched this and I was like questioning and I thought he would question that, okay, secretly there's something up with this girl because, okay, there were times I think maybe a lot of us thought that, okay, maybe me and I, you know, maybe she's not just only quote unquote human and such. Maybe there's something else about her and such because how does she already, you know, have something of magic and stuff now you have a magic wand in episode two and such it feels like someone in your in your like family history had to be a magician as well these were so many things that were running through my head by the end of episode two and such but as i don't really remember i don't remember if all those questions got really answered but that's okay we're on a rewatch <laughs> but other than that guys that is right, actually, read towards episodes one and two of my whole sky pretty here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episodes three and four. Bye, guys.